Hey, what's up guys? For this water jug test, we're going to try the Remington Premier Copper Solid Sabo Slug. And we'll be using my Mossberg 535 with a 24 inch fully rifled barrel. So our slug is just about 58 caliber and it weighs about 437 grains. And it has a pretty wicked looking hollow point. And according to the box, they have a muzzle velocity of 1450 feet per second. So let's go ahead and see what one of these slugs will do to some water jugs. And as usual, we'll be shooting from about 10 yards away. But before I shoot, let me know, what do you guys think is going to happen? I feel like this slug will get caught in jug number five. Well, let's find out. <laughs> that was awesome. We definitely had a pretty explosive impact. Jug number one and two are all the way over there. And here's jug number one. And jug number two. Probably about 25 to 30 feet away from the impact area. And then jug number three is just laying right there. So here's jug number one. Our entry hole was right there. A little bit on the right side this time. You can kind of tell whichever side you hit more towards is the side that gets more exploded. Because right here you can see the whole right side is just broken open. That's the extent of damage on jug number one. Also a little crack here. And that was our exit hole. And here's jug number two. Much bigger entry this time. It was probably completely opened up by now. And it's also just split open completely on the right side. Cracked on the bottom. That is pretty cool. And we got a crack here and on the back. And here's our exit. Wow, and here's jug number three. I'm surprised it still did this much damage. I don't think I've seen this much damage on the third jug in any of my water jug tests. Not positive though. Usually by this point, they've expended most of their energy. Looks like our entry hole is here, and the whole front side is just broken open. Well, more like the front to the right side. Just a huge split all the way across the jug. And there's our exit hole. And jug number four still sitting on the board, and our board broke apart again. So here's jug four, there's nothing inside it. And there's our entry hole. It just cracked underneath the handle a little bit right there. And broke this thing open. And that must have been our exit hole right there. Which is kind of weird. So by this point it had expended most of its energy. And we got an entry on jug 5. And I can hear something bouncing around inside there. Weird entry hole. The slug was probably tumbling sideways. And it looks like it almost came out. We got a couple cracks here, but it just couldn't make it all the way through jug five. And there's our slug that was stopped inside jug five. So here's the slug before and after that water jug test. Definitely some awesome expansion. Its original diameter was about 0.58 of an inch. Now we're getting 0.998. And it looks like the maximum extent of expansion was 1.055 inches. So I think it's safe to say it pretty much expanded to roughly one inch. And the original weight, 437.6 grains. The weight after the water jug test, 437.8 grains. So it didn't gain any weight, it's just its other slug was slightly less heavy. So we got exactly 100% weight retention, and we got about one inch of expansion. So definitely a pretty awesome slug in my opinion. But anyways, that's all for the Remington 
Premier Copper Solid Sabo Slug Water Jug Test. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you can. And also check out my Facebook page. And if there's any specific tests you guys want to see, make sure to let me know. That's all for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.